Hey everyone, this is Nate from Get VoIP, and today we're introducing you to self-service IVR. Let's get right to it. Self-service IVR, or interactive voice response, is an automated business phone system feature that relies on speech recognition and AI, not live agents, to collect, analyze, and direct callers based on their responses to call menu prompts. While IVR apps can offer both inbound and outbound self-service options, they're most often used to automate inbound customer service and support. Inbound IVR frees up more agents to make sales calls or address more complicated customer needs. More importantly, it provides customers with quick, straightforward answers to the most common support questions, eliminating the frustrations of long hold times, multiple call transfers, and missed callbacks. Self-service IVR works by automatically playing a pre-recorded interactive call menu containing prompts for common customer support requests, analyzing the customer response using natural language processing, then directing the call according to the call flow path. The customer will then speak or enter via DTMF touch tone, their response, which initiates AI-powered natural language processing, or NLP. While self-service IVR offers superior features on its own, following these IVR best practice tips can make the experience even stronger and increase customer satisfaction rates as a result. First of all, keep your main menu under 30 seconds and use nested IVR submenus to offer support for more specific requests. Whether you go with a DIY approach or hire a professional, always make sure to give callers the option to connect with a live agent at the start of your IVR menu recording. Also, implementing and testing out different call routing strategies prevents agents from being overworked, ensures inbound sales calls are evenly distributed, and optimizes available agents. It also uses segmentation to ensure callers are connected to a representative with the skill set and training needed to best assist them. Your business phone system analytics and reporting tools provide valuable insight into how your customers interact with your IVR and what you can do to improve it. Studying these analytics, making small edits, and tweaking your call paths will improve your IVR system's effectiveness. Your IVR menu should give customers the opportunity to complete a post-call survey, or have live agents suggest the same, so you can learn firsthand what customers do and don't find helpful about your automated support process. This also lets customers know their input is valued. Even the most effective IVR system still has to put customers into a call queue on occasion. While having to wait to speak to an agent is frustrating, there are many things you can do to improve the process. In addition to implementing the above practices, there are a few things you should absolutely not do with a self-service IVR system. Now, not only do customers hate repeating themselves, but having them do so negates the purpose of having an IVR system in the first place. To avoid this, integrate your CRM system with your IVR solution so that agents will have access to prior interaction history throughout the customer journey basic customer and account information, notes from other agents, and other key context. So, no one enjoys being hung up on, especially not your customers. If you wouldn't slam down the phone in the middle of a live conversation, don't do it with your IVR system. Instead, play a pre-recorded message that includes other customer support avenues like digital channels, when to call back, or at the very least, an apology that no one could assist them. Now for many, your IVR greeting may be their very first interaction with your company. To make a good impression, keep your call menu up to date through simple additions, such as those listed here. Now, as convenient as a self-service IVR system is, there are some times when it's just not the appropriate or most helpful tool. Only provide IVR solutions for business processes and customer service interactions when genuinely helpful. IVR is not ideal for complex tasks that require a real human interaction, like sales, or taking customer complaints, or helping callers understand your business values and branding. Now let's take a look at some business and customer-centric IVR benefits in detail. Now, when customers can get help at any time, they're much more likely to reach out when it's convenient for them, and often that's after traditional business hours. By offering 24-7 customer service with IVR, you can dramatically reduce the number of inbound customer support calls your large or small business receives during valuable working hours, especially during peak seasons. This also means you'll be able to better service customers across time zones, especially key for international consumers. 
Now, using self-certified VR to automate customer support means more time for sales calls, continuing education, collaboration, and customer relationship building. Automation can handle repetitive tasks, saving agents thousands of hours each year. But dealing with difficult customers isn't just time consuming, it also hurts employee morale and, as an end result, productivity. Constant beratement from angry customers isn't just bad for morale, it also increases your employee turnover rates. Give your customers the chance to get their anger out on a machine, not an agent. Now, should your business offer self-service IVR? For starters here, self-service IVR is best for businesses with a moderate to high daily inbound call volume or businesses of any size that don't want to hire additional agents to handle an increase in customer support requests. IVR is also a good solution for businesses that have noticed customers frequently call in with the same issues, all of which have simple one-size-fits-all answers. If you found this video informative, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.